This figure set is based on the storyline, The Last Night on Earth. <laughs> Greetings viewers, Brad Pryor, Barstool Entertainment, doing the first unboxing video from my kitchen of 2022. This figure set is based on the storyline, The Last Night on Earth. It is a kind of surrealistic Batman story. I picked up the uh, trade paperback, not trade paperback, but graphic novel version of it. The hardcover version, Barnes & Noble Special Edition. And I read it and I thought it was a really good story. And I debated about buying the figures. I'm not a huge fan of seven inch figures, but overall I thought the figures were a good graphic representation or physical representation of the characters in the story. So I bought the figure line from Big Bad Toy Store and about a hundred bucks, it was not bad, and I got the figures. So let's start with the first figure. You always start with the torso. And this one is the Scarecrow. And it's a pretty, I don't know, graphic looking figure, kind of interesting. Uh, it's the Bane torso because the Bane figure was in the whole um, series, and the Scarecrow figure was in the series as well. Uh, very interesting because then you can mount the Scarecrow on the back of Bane. And again, it looks like they were very well done, very interesting figures. The next figure is Batman. Batman is wearing a kind of, uh, how shall we say, straight jacket, and he's carrying the head of the Joker in the series. I'm not going to tell the whole story, but it's very interesting, and it has the hands and the head of Bane. The next figure is Wonder Woman, and she has the arms of Bane. Now, Wonder Woman pay, plays a pretty pivotal role within the Last Night on Earth series. So, yeah, a figure of her being made definitely is a good idea. And the final figure is Omega. And I'm not gonna spoil anything about the series. It's something you should read. It's a decent series, decent story. And it's worth me keeping to reread at some point. But Omega has the legs of Bane and was a very pivotal character within the story. In fact, I would say he was the overall bad guy of the story. Now again, I ordered this series of figures from Big Bad Toy Store. Um, if you want to go to their website, I recommend it. They usually have some good deals. And I've ordered from them in the past and done some unboxings. So what I'm going to do is take the figures out and build the Bane figure. Now, one of the things I have with me is quart size bags. Quart size bags are really good because when you take out the figure like Wonder Woman, she has a sword and you wanna put that aside or you wanna store Wonder Woman, plus they have a stand in there and you want to put all that together. 
Now, I'll probably not sell the individual figures of this run because I actually like them and I may keep them. Bane with Scarecrow will probably go up in my display case and I'll move stuff around. And so I'll add that to my build figure display uh, in my display case. So I'll again stop this video, take the figures out of box, maybe explain them, and eventually I'll put things together and put Bane together. Okay, first figure I took apart, again, the torso of Bane. And he has on his back something you can hook the Scarecrow figure into, but the Scarecrow figure, pretty detailed. I mean, you got this respirator type thing on the back. Um, his uh, syringe needle type figure, fingers move pretty well. And, ah, uh, well, arm, yep. Yeah. Arm is decently jointed. Head, kind of scary. Can't take the helmet off, but that's okay. And he also comes with a card, which, again, got your quart bag. Slide that in. And set that aside here. He's got a stand which you can assemble and you can display the figure. It's actually very well done, ratcheting, everything. And you can just somehow hook the scarecrow figure into the stand somehow, I'm not gonna bother. But here's the other thing with the Scarecrow figure. If I can show it right. Has a pin. You can flip it. And that pin goes into the Bane figure so that the Scarecrow can hang on to him at some point. So, yeah. Part of the Scarecrow's guts. So, kind of have the Scarecrow hanging on to Bane here. But, I, I digress. I'm going to move on to unboxing the other figures and then worry about setting them up so that and putting Bane together so that uh, you can see the end result. Okay, things are getting a little messy here. Wonder Woman, or should I say Punk Woman, Punk Wonder Woman, Punk Rock Wonder Woman. She comes with a sword which will fit nicely in the scabbard. A display stand, which let's see if that works. Hey, awesome, she can stand up. Put it right next to Scarecrow here. You can see him. And again, card. Slide that into your quart bag. And you can set it aside. And she comes with the arms of Bane, which hopefully will Ooh, these things are stiff. Uh, yeah. Not good. These things are very, very stiff. 
which means getting them into the sockets. Gonna be hard, again, I'll have to assemble Bane once I unopen all the other packages and hopefully I'll get them assembled and you can see what's happening. Okay, the Omega figure comes with the figure, a couple pair of hands if you can see them, a card, a stand, and Bane's two legs. Now, again, quart size bag. Put the card in, the extra hands in. And set it aside. I'm going to put Omega on his stand and we'll see. Ah, oh, God, these pins never work. Hey, he's standing. Woohoo. I set him aside too, like right here. And of course, we got, I want to make sure the left foot and the right foot are correct. I see if we can pop this on to Bane here. A lot easier than the arms, I can tell you that. I have to do the arms off camera. But got the legs on at least. In this case, this leg is Not tight enough. Okay, I'm reshooting this a little bit because I screwed up. Now, the Batman figure comes with the head of the Joker, a stand, and of course, he's in this insane asylum straight jacket uniform. If you read the comic book series Last Night on Earth, it's Definitely worth the read and explains why. But he also has a billy club and a card, the prerequisite card. And again, the quart bag, you put that in there right away and you seal it up and you won't lose any extra little pieces that come with the figure. Now, the Bane part is the head and the fists. And to be honest with you, this is the worst Build-A-Figure I've had to deal with. And his leg still pops off. Again, worst Build-A-Figure I've had to deal with. Now, the Bane figure looks pretty cool. And... Again, you got Batman, Omega, Wonder Woman, and Scarecrow. Now, Scarecrow is supposed to plug into the back of Bane in this pin area. I'm going to give it a shot here. I already tried, but... You know, his part here flips out, and the way this figure's gone together, it's been a real major issue. Now, you're supposed to be able to put the Scarecrow. Okay, I did get the Scarecrow mounted on Bane here. If you can see, it looks really decent. Nice looking figure, but really the worst ever build a figure I've ever had to deal with. I had to put in a ton of effort to get this guy together and his leg will still probably fall off. And getting the scarecrow on, well, WD-40. Works real well. 
I was able to slide them in, but now I've got them together. I'm probably not going to take them apart. The Bane Build-A-Figure will go into my display cabinet. I worked real hard on it. I should be real happy about it, but I'm not. Again, worst Build-A-Figure I've had to deal with. Uh, the other figures I'm not going to sell because I actually do think, detail-wise, they are very nice. Uh, McFarlane Toys has to work a little better on how to get the figures together. Um, the articulation is gorgeous. The sculpting is beautiful. But, again, you got to get the parts so they fit together a little easier and a little better. And it's just one of those things where... I mean, I'll put Bane aside here. Batman stands on his own real well. He doesn't need the base. Omega, let's see if he stands real well. Sort of. He doesn't need the base too much. Wonder Woman with her cape. Well, she seems a little bit like she's a little going to be tippy over. So she needs the base. But again, overall, I mean... These are beautiful figures. They look good. I'm not a big fan of the 7-inch line type figures. You know, if you're going to be putting your figure line together and you want them to kind of work with... Again, I'm going to put Omega here on his stand. But if you want to work with your... Overall, I mean, people like to combine their figure lines. And I think this was decent, but impossible. Bane was impossible to put together. You know, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like it, hit the thumbs up button. Leave some comments. This is the first unboxing of 2022 i'm going to put this in with my other videos and mix it up a little bit i'm doing skyrim i'll probably just take out a skyrim video move it down whatever i do but i post four video a week based on video games and if you hit that big annoying subscribe button and the bell icon you will be notified when I post videos, even videos like this that are different compared to what I normally do, and you won't miss out. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and most of all, thanks for stopping by. Hey everyone, uh, yeah, I did the recording for the Bane Build-A-Figure, and I don't mean it's a bad figure or the figures were bad, they're actually good, really nice sculpts, etc. It's just putting the Bane figure together was probably the worst I've ever had to deal with. As far as the parts fitting together and getting them together, I had to do a little sanding. You know, even the heat pop in wasn't working. I had a little sand, little balls on the edges to get them to fit again it was yeah terrible and if you buy the bane build a figure probably gonna run into some headaches as far as putting it together like i said i don't mean it was a bad figure overall it's very nice and now it's in my display case but yeah it just putting it together was one of the worst build a figures i had to deal with Thanks for stopping by.